crazy. Buy a new telly for that. It's fucking nuts. Alright, just before I show you my Vita update, I'll let you know to go and check out this guy. He is J-U-C-E-D-A-D-D-Y, Juice Daddy. He makes videos on the YouTubes, he's a pretty funny guy, he's got less than 100 subs and he really should have more because he has great pickups, so definitely check him out. Stuff I have to show you is as follows, I have... Five new games for the collection. Still going for the complete collection. I'll get it eventually. I'm not rushing it at the moment. I'm just trying to find the um, final 25 or so games that I need on the cheap when I can. Hey, a spider. I don't know where it went. I think it jumped on me. Whatever. I don't care. First game. Oh, wait, there it is. Coming right for me. Hopefully that doesn't bite me and kill me, whatever. We have this game here, for the Vita. Uh, I believe this is called Sengoku Basara? Esteville Versus. It is a Japanese copy of the game, which was significantly cheaper than buying an English copy. And I didn't mind getting a Japanese copy of the game, because, um, as you could probably tell, this is not a game I would actually like sit down to play to completion i mean it's one of those um it's one of those games that, like perverts play man to be honest and the coincidentally market classic game room has played and reviewed it so if you want to see what kind of game it is um check his out check out his review but you don't really need it to be in english anyway because this is a side-scrolling beat-em-up a little bit like final flight and all that so cool cool to get that was pretty cheap. I think that was like $20 ship, man. Speaking of cheap, and I'm glad this was cheap because it was a fuck up on my part, we have a physical copy of Final Fantasy X-2. Shout out to, um... Shout out to whoever it was that let me know this existed. I don't remember, but they commented on my last, um... PlayStation Vita update video. Pretty much saying, hey, you can get like a Chinese version of Final Fantasy X-2 HD Remaster, a physical copy, and I thought, alright, I'll go do that. And I looked up on Play Asia, they want stupid money for it, so I thought, yeah, I'll wait until I find a cheap copy on eBay. And that's what I did. Unfortunately, I screwed up. Hey, there's a spider again. Unfortunately, I screwed up a little bit. I'm just gonna kill it. Fuck off. Bloody thing. If a bug gets that close to you, it deserves to be squashed. But yeah, Final Fantasy X-2, I thought this was the copy or the version that you could get that had like um, English text in it. And when I was looking at the listing, I looked on here and saw... Whoever wants to focus. Yeah, Chinese English. Oh yeah, Chinese English, that's fine. So I didn't really give it much thought and I threw like a $10 bid on it and won it for that. And it was like $15 shipped, which is still a really good deal, if, but it doesn't play in English. This place in Japanese and Chinese, but no English. Um, I, it's okay, I guess. I'm just going to hold on to this copy, and if anyone ever asks, I'll just say, yeah, I've got Final Fantasy X-2 in the collection. Yeah, it plays in English, sure. <laughs> because, I mean, no one's ever going to come over and want to play this version of the game. Like I have the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 2 version anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, another game that was pretty cheap, this one was brand new and sealed. Shout out to Andy for letting me know that a website called Mighty Ape was having a sale on a lot of their gaming stuff. I ended up getting this game for, I think it was just under $30 shipped, something like that. Just under $30 shipped, I think. And that was, all of this was from PayPal money, so it's like I'm paying a third of what it actually cost. And I work that out, like, um, if I buy something for, like, three bucks, I usually be able to sell it for ten dollars if I'm selling it, so, I mean, that's a third. We have this game here, Rugby 15. 
It's one that I definitely wanted to get and want to actually want to sit down and play because I have a rugby league game, uh, two rugby league games on the PlayStation Vita, and I'm still looking for another one. Jonah Lomu Rugby. Guy's been dead for like 10 years, but still gets a fucking rugby game after him. Why not? It's the most well known uh, New Zealander who became a rugby player. But yeah, Rugby 15, official Australian version, which is pretty nice. And yeah, still sealed. I'm sure it's just like all the other rugby games I have, but it was one I needed for the collection. And the last two games here, also sealed. Ones I also want to sit down and play at some point. First one we have here is Ages of Earth. Proto Novus Assault. I'm reading through the camera, so it's a little bit hard to see. But yeah, this game right here, pretty cool. Um, I believe I got this for about $30 shipped. Mostly like $30 shipped, something like that. I usually don't pay any more than that. But from what I was looking up, this looks like a kind of tower defense game, except it's a lot more strategic. And it looks like my kind of game. It's a, um, like a simple kind of game that has an interesting twist. Not saying it's like simple or anything, but it's like, it's something that is, um, already developed, I guess, you know, like, you can have, like, a first-person shooter, and that'll just be, like, a well-developed first-person shooter, but if it has an interesting twist to it, then obviously it's going to be more interesting to play. Uh, same thing with this. You build a city, keep it, um, under construction, and build weapons inside it to, um, fight off various enemies, so, yeah. Definitely going to sit down and play this one at some point. Just got to play a few others first. And the last game here. This was one that wasn't actually on my list, but there are a few non-Australian release games that I do want to get for my collection. And this was one of them. It is Conception 2, Children of the Seven Stars. I don't think we got the first Conception game in Australia. I'm not even sure if it was released in English. But this requires 1k of memory, not very much at all. But I can't really tell you too much about this game. I don't really know what it's about. I haven't seen the gameplay of it. I just knew it was something I wanted to get. Uh, manager relationships, family bonding, uh, the perfect child. Uh, sounds like a dating sim to me, but hopefully it's not. Um, it's mature 17 plus, so fantasy, violence, language, mild blood, partial nudity, sexual themes, I, I like all of those things, so yeah, gonna play that at some point. I was like, there you ship too, so yeah, five more titles for the Vita collection, good titles, and I'm going to be getting in Psycho Pass when it comes out, I've ordered that off of Mighty Ape as well, and it was like 35 bucks, which is pretty good. And yeah, that is all for now, so this is Secret of My House, bidding you farewell. And that's all, folks.